Boom, 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 boom. Don't call my phone no more. Boom, 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 boom. And I ain't picking up. And I ain't picking up. Boom, 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 boom. A boom, boom, boom. That I was letting out tension. Now, welcome to another installment of Sushi by Duke. Where we're rolling new music. Thank you guys for coming back. Thank you so very much. On this installment, I'm going to talk to you guys about an artist coming straight from Inglewood, California. But before we do that, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. For those who already have, thank you. Please tell your friends, share this video, comment, like, thumbs up. I just want you guys to do what you can to help grow this community of Sushi Dukers to others who may want to discover new music as well. And make sure you guys follow me on my social media that is Sushi Duke. Yeah, Sushi D-O, okay? Twitter and Instagram, I talk a lot of crap. Also, I do have a Sushi song of the day where every morning on my Insta Snap feed, I will post a song that's gonna start my day. And hopefully it starts yours and maybe something you know, maybe something you never heard of. And also, please suggest a song. I definitely want people to tell me what they wanna hear. Or make your own Sushi song of the day. Just tag it and bam, it's a, it's a something. Artist, singer, songwriter, coming straight from Inglewood, California. This guy has been singing since the age of four. Jesus, always, it always happens. I had, I had a Polish, so this, this probably, yeah, it, it stinks too. He is a mix of BJ the Chicago Kid and Molly Music with a very untraditional R&B sound with gospel undertones underneath it. Really, really heavy gospel undertones. Cause I ain't talking about none other than TDE's Top Dog Entertainment, most recent signee. Sir, big S, little I, big R. Yes, sir. Sir, like I said, has been singing since the age of four. Mother's a minister. Him and his brothers grew up in church and they are crazy talented. His mother actually sang background for Michael Jackson and Tina Turner back in the day. His uncle is a world-renowned bassist who was actually playing for Prince. So all of that, you, you ain't got no choice but to be some type of musical artist. He actually had aspirations of being a basketball player. Like many other entertainers, they had that goal and dream. And for some, it didn't work out. After that, he had to go back to Inglewood. He had a chance to live life and rediscover music on his own. He still didn't get into it just yet, but his brothers wrote music for a company back in the day, and he decided to write a song. And they said it was dope. From there, it's like, yo, I can actually do something with this. You know he came from somebody's church. The melodies, the harmonies, the cadences, the chords. It literally sounds like a Sunday service. It's a soulful element of it. And he even says that you no know, R&B and a lot of other genres would not be what it is if it wasn't for the church or wasn't for gospel music. So kudos to you for recognizing it and being able to actually verbalize it and say it. Your favorite artist came from somebody's church, just so you know, like, let me just drink this. His music reminds me in some ways and forms of R. Kelly's music back in the day. That super sensual sexual music that you want to hear, but it's not as traditional as normal R&B. It's a more arrogant and confident way. It's darker, it's grittier. It draws you in and makes you wanna know more about the sound and what he's saying. It's literally not, I'm pleading to my partner to be with me or to forget whatever. It's more so like, hey, you need to go ahead and get over here. Like, oh, come, come on, come, come on now. Like you playing, like you know who I am? Come get this loving girl. It's crazy, but I like it. It's, it's, it's nice, it's nice. If you guys are familiar with the channel, watch older videos. One artist I talked about in particular has a sound very similar to Sir. And she actually was inspired by Sir for her music that she makes right now. I don't talk about none other than Miss Tiffany Boucher, who, and I think probably this is more factual than anything. I think they're related. I actually think they're cousins. Black people are all cousins in some way, but y'all can confirm it, let me know. If not, I mean, it is what it is, but still, you know. If anybody knows, just yeah, tell me if I'm right, like please. Overall, great music, that sensual, sexy, vibe music, because it is called vibe music. That's what he calls his music. And it feels great. It feels amazing when you hear it. Either you want to have sex, either you just want to drive in a car. If you are familiar with this vlog, you know that's my favorite styling of music. Whenever I hear it, I instantly fall in love. I instantly go to a trance into another world. That's what I want to hear when I hear music. I want to get lost into that, that reality that they're creating. And he can give you that plus more. Five projects out, well, I'll get 10. Five projects out right now, I'm going to talk about the Top three, Seven Sundays, Her, Her 2. Her 2, which he released right before he signed with TDE. He's actually on J-Rock's 90059 album and Isaiah Rashad's son's tirade album as well. Let's check out some of the songs that you should know about if you really want to know who this person is. Songs I would recommend, one be Onana, which is a very, very sexy, smooth, sensual, real, real, come here girl, come get this work type of song. This song literally puts you in the mindset of Having one of those interactions with someone without actually having like the wording, the lyrics, the delivery is so sensual and it feels good. It's more of a connection than anything. And I gotta give kudos to that man Masego for adding this extra feature, this sax solo that kind of put a little sprinkle, a little pop, 
on top of it, you know, it, it gave a little whoop whoop to the end of the song, man. Like, Masego did a great job. Next song I recommend would be one of my favorites from him, which is West Side Boy, which was the lead single track from the Her 2 project. West Side Boy is a trunk knocker without the obnoxious 808s. It's a smooth, heavy bass banger that I did not like at all when I first heard it. The hook can either do one of two things, either catch your attention and make you a fan, or turn you off. For me, it turned me off at first. I don't like hooks with repetitive phrases talking about neighborhoods because I've heard this in many other songs, and it's whack. But I had to go back and listen to it a bunch of times. I'm like, yo, this is amazing. This song is beautiful. It has its own element to it. Last song I would talk about would be from the Seven Sundays Project, which is actually one of my favorite songs from him, which is the bullet in the gun. Yes, the bullet in the gun. Beautiful track. So soft, so so subtle, sensual, real chill. Lyrics are amazing. It feels so good. I literally have to let that song embody, like come inside of you, like pause. And just become one with your being. This song ends off that Seven Sundays project perfectly. And it's probably my favorite song, honestly, from him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. Also, honorable mention songs. Don't Call My Phone. My mother loves this song. Yeah, my mom, she's a fan too. The Tricky, this is the song that more more people know. I love it, I just didn't want to talk about it. But that is Sir, I like the music. I think it's really amazing. Check him out, let me know what you guys think. If you guys like his music, please become a fan. Let him know you're a fan because of this review. If you don't, let me know about an artist I could do a review on and give you the credit for it. This is Sushi by Duke. Follow us on social media, Sushi Duke, Instagram, Twitter, uh, subscribe to this channel. Like the video, share with your friends and family, comment, do whatever it is that you have to do. Music is love. Love is no good unless you give it away. Remember that. Till next time. Peace. Yeah. I tried, but can't even stop thinking of you and your body. Touch my body. I can lose it. Girl, I don't know what to do. My dreaming. That my sin. I think I actually know the words of this song. Oh, never mind. I forgot it.